hey fam welcome back to my channel thank you all so much for coming back how is everybody doing as for me i'm fine if you're coming by my channel for the first time you're welcome as well this is virtual grace have you subscribed i guess the answer is no right so just go ahead and click the subscribe button when you do tap on the bell that way youtube will notify you each time i upload new videos or do a live stream so go ahead thank you thank you so much for subscribing also kindly click on the link in the description box down below to support my gofundme campaign i want to raise funds to be able to buy equipment such as microphone a good camera and a computer editing is becoming a chore now so just click on it whatever it is you can donate is much appreciated okay thank you yeah so this video basically is to bring you up to speed i remember i posted a picture on my community tab in which I talked about you know corn and pear which is a delicacy and my latest addiction and some people were asking me grace what's the latest in Nigeria so here's the latest <laughs> Baba is working and please when I say Baba just know that I'm referring to my president my one and only president his excellency President Mohamed Buhari, GCFR, that is the Grand Commander of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. <laughs> Baba is working. This time around, Baba has launched an ambitious 614 kilometers gas pipeline project in Nigeria. <laughs> Clap for Baba. This project is expected to link Ajaokuta to Kano through Kaduna. So it's starting from Ajaokuta through Kaduna to Kano. He launched this um, virtually, um, simultaneously. So he was in Abuja. He launched it virtually, of course, but he was represented by the governor of Kogi State, His Excellency, um, Governor Yahya Bello. Your Excellency, Mr. President, Governor Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Mr. Muhammad Buhari. On your behalf, here in Kogi State. Okay, I am unveiling this flag on behalf of the flag of the Ajakuta Ekuna Kanu Pipeline Lane for the economic emancipation and development of Nigeria and all other parts of Nigeria and for the benefit of the citizens of Nigeria. The Almighty Allah give us the grace and the opportunity to witness the commissioning of this particular all reports and project. Amen. And the governor of Kaduna State, His Excellency, um, Governor Erufai. So they launched the project in their respective states while President Buhari presided over it virtually. So um, according to them, this project is going to drive the industrialization, you know, of Nigeria, especially the northern part of Nigeria. And these pipelines are expected to transport gas from, you know, the southern part to the northern part. So basically this project is going to be implemented by some Chinese companies, about two Chinese companies. Um, the NNPC, which is the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, is going to pay 15% of the amount. And um, by the way, the amount is $2.8 billion. So the NNPC is going to pay 15% of the amount, while the Chinese companies that are implementing the project are going to fund the remaining. Of course, in form of a loan facility, nothing is free. <laughs> At the interest rate of, um, let me check that. <laughs> At the interest rate of 3.7%. And this project is expected to be completed over the next two years okay so um basically that's what they are going to be doing and of course according to baba this has become necessary because of the learnings from the covid 19 situation one of the lessons learned from the novel coronavirus pandemic further underscores the drive of this administration for export substitution initiatives and projects that will promote local manufacturing. We must also learn lessons from other countries who have methodically made the transition from oil-rich countries and use their crude as a pathway to economic and industrial diversification.
So Baba says, as a result of you know the COVID nineteen situation, now more than ever is the time for us as a country to push for the industrialization of our own economy and you know to start manufacturing so we can be self reliant. Nobody knows tomorrow anymore, right? Um, this, of course, is a good move. But the concern of many Nigerians is the fact that this is funded by a loan from China. And the companies that are implementing this project are Chinese companies. And they are going to, Nigeria is going to repay this loan at an interest rate of 3.7%. So some people are arguing that what business sense does this make that you borrow from somebody, the person works for you, um, you know, the person funds that project, works for you, and then you repay the person at such an interest rate. So that's basically what some people are disgruntled about. Uh, personally, uh, I, I, I lack words, honestly, because... I honestly also can't make sense of it as a business person. And this this is not going to be implemented by local companies. So how are you contributing to the economy of your country with this kind of business sense? Anyway, if you're an economist and you understand, please explain to us. Drop a comment in the comment section. And this loan facility um, is expected to be paid over the next 12 months. So what the federal government has said is that they are confident that, you know, the cash flow from the gas pipeline project is going to be sufficient enough to repay the loan over the 12 months period that they are expected to pay, you know. So the meeting presided over by President Muhammad Buhari deliberated extensively on the joint memorandum submitted by the Ministries of Finance, Budget and National Planning, as well as Petroleum Resources on financing the Ajakuta Kaduna Kano gas pipeline project. The contract initially approved by council in 2017 at $2.89 billion has now been revised downwards to $2.57 billion, equivalent to a 10% discount. NNPC is required to pay 15% of the contract amount, while the remaining 85% will be provided by China Show of China in form of a loan facility at an interest rate of 3.7% with a 12-year repayment period and a three-year moratorium. Finance Minister Zainab Ahmed said an extensive review of the project has been made and the government is satisfied that the cash flows from the gas pipeline project, when completed, will be sufficient for repayment of the loan facility. So, our government is working, right? We are watching. Let's see the outcome of it. And one of their strongest marketing points is the fact that this project on completion is going to provide employment opportunities, millions of job opportunities to Nigerians. This project is one of the cardinal policies of this present administration, and it is very strategic to national development. It has a lot of positive impact that we anticipate will be uh, met. It will spur industrialization and industrial growth as gas-based industries and power generating companies will be the key beneficiaries. It will also create employment opportunities. It will increase government revenue. It will encourage exports and enhance the nation's foreign reserves by reducing dependencies on imports. You know, so what do you expect? People are jobless, right? So this is a good... A good sound to the ears of many. Also, the federal government has informed and assured Nigerians that this project is timely, given the global realities with oil. We all know that Nigeria's major export is crude oil, so it's a visionary step towards diversifying the economy and exploring the abundant gas that the country is endowed with, and of course, to provide opportunities for industrialization, you know, for gas based industries to spring forth in the country. Um, basically, that's it. But but some people have expressed the concerns that why does the government have to fund such an ambitious project from a loan when the government should be more concerned with becoming debt free you know uh, but basically that's it what's your opinion what do you think about this story drop your comments as usual let's interact if you've not subscribed don't forget to click the subscribe button and when you do tap on the bell that way youtube will notify you each time i upload new videos and do a live stream Thank you. I will see you in my next video. But until then, stay safe, healthy, and below abiding. Bye. Support Nigeria's 100 
和野生动植物保护项目，五十个促进贸易援助项目，两百个。幸福星火工程、五所文化中心、一万个村落实施收看卫星电视项目、两千个学历学位教育名额、三万个政府奖学金名额，每年组织两百名非洲学者访华、五百名非洲青年研修、一千名非洲新闻领域从业人员。六千万美元无偿援助，提供总额六百亿美元的资金支持。